and I'm sure that today you are ready for this marriage, for this celebration, but also for the marriage as a vocation. Now, I, I know on occasions like this, there's, a, there's an old cliche, uh, but I find it nonetheless true for me, that I haven't actually lost a daughter, but I've gained a son in Adam. I uh, really couldn't be happier than to welcome Adam and his family into ours. Uh, Adam has shown himself to be a loving, caring, family oriented man that is always uh, supportive of Hannah and everything that she does. Marriage is not an institution, it is kind of the relationship we call it sacrament. The sacrament is a visible sign of invisible spiritual reality as well. And in the case of marriage, I was saying this yesterday, you are the sacrament. It is so lovely to have you all here with us for this beautiful and emotional celebration of two incredible human beings. A TV crew came to a school to ask the kids some questions in a kids say the funniest things kind of way. So we watched on as our classmates said what they wanted to be. Doctors, teachers, nurses, astronauts, etc. And then the angelic Hannah appeared. And what would you like to be? After some considerable thought, a Barbie doll. Is there anything more beautiful in life than a boy and a girl clasping clean hands and pure hearts in the path of marriage? And the answer is there is a more beautiful thing. We all walk with an outer glow. Now then, Adam, I've I've learnt quite a lot from Adam. Adash, Adamski. The big bad babs. <laughs> Call him what you will. I've learned that one, pizzas can and in fact should be part of a daily diet. That's even after a three course meal. Two, it's always the right time for a cocktail. And three, that it's not a good idea to attempt skiing acrobatics without professional instruction first. As we know, Adam might um, come across as a shy and reserved person to some, but believe me, that is far from the truth. When we came to Australia in 2007, he was very quick to assimilate. And by that, I am referring to the time when he left Paul and myself at school to other friends. He was very quick to jump on board with everyone else and just leave us to ourselves. Both of us speaking Polish and he was just, you know, trying to chat in English, you know. Hannah and Adam, the promise you made to each other today is serious because it will bind you together for life in relationship and so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence your whole future. But Adam's a great guy, and I look forward to learning more in his upcoming uh, memoir, I hear, uh, which I believe has a working title of Are You Going to Eat That? <laughs> But God is good because he sent Hannah Adam's way 
And I can say Adam is not the same guy he was when those friends were around. He's much better, I mean. No. So Hannah, thank you. You became his best friend and changed his life for the better. It is an old man and old women finishing their lives, their journey together on that path. Their hands are crooked, but still clasped. Their faces are wrinkled and old, but still radiant. Their hearts are physically old, weak, tired, but still strong with love and with devotion for each other. Yes, there is something more beautiful than young love, old love. Hannah, I'll never forget seeing you walk down the aisle today. You are more beautiful in more ways than I can count. I still don't know how I am so lucky as to have you in my life. I love you dearly. Father, Grant that as they come together to your table on earth, so they may one day have the joy of sharing your feast in heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Not many people know this, but on our very first date, I arranged for Hannah and I to go to a pizza restaurant just next door. However, because this is Perth, everything was closed by. PM. So instead, we went to the restaurant that was open, which was the venue we're currently in right now, the Breakwater. However, after looking at the prices, um, we made a quick exit. <laughs> and we landed at McDonald's instead. As you can see, Hannah is a wonderful daughter and I love her dearly. Um, I would say, remember to be kind to each other. Be honest, be willing to compromise, and remember to have a laugh together. And all will be fine.